Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be doing a side hustle cash envelope stuffing in my A5 52 agenda cash binder. So if that is something that you would like to check out and see guys, please stay tuned. All right. So this is going to be cash that I made from the release that I did on Tuesday. Um, like I was like blown away because they were gone like 45 minutes. Um, and it, I was just blown away so i'm just like thank you guys so much for always like buying the things that i make i really love making them and um i know a lot of you message me and say that you can tell that i really put a lot of time in the things that i make and i'm a crafter i love doing crafts i love budgeting and i love that i can make things that people can use in their lives to better their lives and to help them out so the first day i made hmm, it was like 933 dollars and I, couple of the well not a couple it was a few quite a few books that I had I didn't put the quantity in so it showed as zero so I uploaded those like pretty much the next day so basically I think um I mean it's not like to the penny but it's like a thirteen hundred dollars that I made in those days for my um on my website for those now I know a lot of you guys said oh my gosh I did not get a chance to get it I missed it so guess what I am already in the process of doing a second release, so I already have some already in the works making them. They're going to be some new um, covers. Um, so it's not going to, some of them are going to be the same as those because I know you guys say you like a lot of the covers that I had. So they will be releasing, and then I will post on my Instagram when I will be releasing those. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and grab our cash out of our income envelope here. So I don't always use all of my cash from my um sales that i make and um if you follow me on my channel you know that's what i do i just keep some in my business checking account that's just something how i do and that is just how i do it not something how i do that is just how i do it and then it's just a way that works for me but for your side hustle and your small business you may want to do it for however you want to do it to make you know what i'm saying your side hustle business efficient for you all right, so this right here is just a little binder that I got from Claire's on Clarence. And that's what we're gonna be using for today. So I just have this written down. I don't have a certain sheet that I use that I've made yet. Cause number one, your girl don't have any time <laughs> to make anything. So I'm like trying to, you know what I'm saying? Keep things as simple as possible. Okay, so this is how much we are actually going to be stuffing for today. We're gonna be doing $625. So let's go ahead and count our cash. We have 100, 200, 350, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 520, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 600, 5, 10, uh-oh, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 20. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Yeah, those twos are like crazy new. It's like, I don't know, people, some people say they haven't seen the twos, but, but the thing about that is they're always so new. So it's like they're, I guess they're still, um, what do you want to call it? Producing them? Is that how we're going to say it? I'm going to have to put this back here so that's not, because I forgot that I had twos there. So we got an extra spot. And y'all will probably hear Aiden. He's back there humming. I'm not sure what song he's singing. It sounds like it's Thomas the Train, but I'm not sure. Okay, so for the first thing we're going to do is pay myself. Now, I'm going to pay myself $100. And this is a low amount than what I normally pay myself. But I do have my YouTube paycheck that's supposed to be coming. It's going to be coming like in a couple days. So I will take money out of that to pay myself. So I'm not pretty much worried about this here. So we're going to actually do $100. And I'm not going to even have to put this in my envelope because the $100, y'all, is going to my vacation envelope. So that is what that is going to be. And yes, this is the envelopes, guys, that I had on this, on my site that I was selling. So if you were wondering what cash envelope notebooks you were selling. So yeah, so make sure that you um, sign up for like the text, email, I guess, SM, SMS um, alerts. And then, um, so that way, and then my IG, and then subscribe to my channel also, so that way you can know exactly 
when I have um, new things that are coming out. So you won't miss out. Okay, so I've been going back and forth, back and forth. Um, we need to go to trips. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like going back and forth, back and forth, like just doing the most. Okay, so we're gonna take 100. So now we have 100, 250, 350, 450, 60, 70, 80, 90, 510, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 705, 6, 7. So we have pretty much reached our goal. We was um, reaching for a goal of 700 before June 1st. And this goal has been met. So, but that's not going to stop me. I'm still going to be adding more to this. So the more, the merrier for your trip. So that's what we're going to be doing for that. All right. So next we're going to have taxes, taxes. My taxes are done a little bit different. So we're actually going to be adding $25 to that. So we're going to add a 20 and a five. I know you guys are probably like that is not enough for taxes, but I do have a bookkeeper accountant that actually does them. So I trust her. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 105, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have $118 in that. All right, so then we have, oh gosh, this is all bent up. So we have P.O. Box. So the P.O. Box is pretty much done for the year, but I'm still gonna pretty much add, you know, just, I don't have to add a lot to it, but I'm gonna add some to it. Um, so we have 20, 30. Let's go ahead and add the cash first and then we'll count. So we're gonna add $5 to P.O. Box and we're just gonna do a $5 bill. And that is 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we got 145 because for my P.O. box, it's 60. Seven dollars um, or coda. Um, next, we're gonna do storage unit. Now, for my storage unit, the storage unit comes out on the 18th. So we are gonna have to. So we're gonna add seventy dollars. So I was gonna do a fifty, a twenty. So this is what we're gonna have to do for this because I'm gonna have to add this cash back to the checking because it's automatic. I did it that way so that I want to make sure that I don't miss a payment and then. Um, I can pretty much just have it just go, you know what I'm saying, not even worry about it. So we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93. All right, so we got $93 and $74 did automatically come out of my account. So what I'm going to actually do, this is the wallet here that I told you guys that I use as on the go. So I keep this in my purse and I need to actually dump this one because this one was when I went to go get supplies. And... So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm not gonna deal with my banks today. So we're gonna put that in there because all of the coin that I get goes in my um, coin bank. And I seriously missed two pennies. I'm not sure how that happened. All right. So in here, I do have cash that is left. This is for products and supplies. So I'm just gonna keep that in there. So I won't get that mixed up. So we're gonna need to put $74 in there. So we'll just do, do we have... We only have three ones, so we're just gonna do 75. So we got 50, 60, 70, 75. Now I do keep this actually in this wallet so I won't get this mixed up with my everyday spending cash wallet. So that's why I have two and that's why I did this one a little bit smaller so it won't take up so much space. So this will be $75 and we're gonna put that in the storage unit. So I can hit the drive through and deposit this into the check-in. All right, so next, I'm gonna put this right here. And we're gonna put this in, so we have 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have $18 in storage unit. All right, so next we have this license. This license, we're gonna do $10. This is pretty much done for the year because we don't have to, um, you only do it once a year and I've already got a business license. Um, pay for it. So I'm just now just putting money in there. So for next year, this is already pretty much covered. So we have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we got $45 in there and the business license is actually $30 for um, just for the amount of sales that I get for um, my small business. All right, so next we have growth. All right, so for growth, we're gonna add $20 for that. And we're gonna do, 120 and I am like competing with Aiden again because he is back there on concert doing his Thomas the Train y'all. All right so we got 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60 and this is um, 160 dollars. 
yes i had to count it a little bit i was like counting like 50 60 70 80 90 had to do it in my head had to do it discreetly but actually i won't discreetly because i was kind of counting out loud okay so growth is basically if i want to like take like a skillshare class or if i want to do something on a fiverr or coaching from someone that's something that helps the business you know grow or you find someone that you see that they're doing something good in their expertise and you want to kind of like get them to kind of mentor you so that's what that is for all right so for next we have etsy support and for etsy support we're going to actually add 20 dollars and we're actually going to do one 20 bill etsy support is basically supporting other shops um ordering things from them and i this is what i did it's from her budget and i did get these little these are so cute like i just like holding them because they're so sturdy <laughs> and um yeah i got these as placeholders so i just keep those right in the back there all right so we have 20 40 60 70 80 90 95 96 97 98 99 so we have 100 for etsy support so if i see anything else or the things that are in my cart that i need to get i will just pop in and i can use this money and transfer that back okay so now going to supplies we do have where i want to go and get some supplies for making my cash envelope books and the things all the other things that i needed so this goes back into there and that's why i said i keep this pretty much separate it's basically the same envelopes that are in here but i just keep it like that so that way i know that that 11 dollars goes straight back into my supply product and we're actually going to add 175 dollars to it so we're going to do one 100 150 two tens and then we're going to do a five so we got 50 no we do not have 50 we got to pretty much straighten up this money that's what we need to do All right so we got 150 200 10 20 25 okay all right so all right, I'm going to have to get all this money together, okay? Let's check. All right, all good. And then 150, 210, 20, 30, 35, 36. So we got 236 for supplies, and I need to make sure that I keep this one pretty much up a little bit because I'm always going to need supplies to make new things and to create new things for you guys. So that's why I need to make sure I keep a little bit more in here. And this one right here will pretty much fluctuate because I'm always buying different things for things that I need all right so giveaway we're going to do $15 so we're going to do 110 and 15 this is going to be so we're going to hit 15 I said 20 but right now let's focus on 15 so I'll end and up doing a nice little giveaway for that and we have 20 40 50 60 65 70 75 so we have $75 for that so by the time we get to 15 we should have a nice little cushion in here to get something cool for you guys all right so Roth RA um, we're going to do $100 and we're just going to do $100 bill for that. And like I always tell you guys, I always put this one in here. So that way when I do side hustle money, I can make sure that I'm not neglecting this one. And I do also have $100 directly deposited from my checking account to go into Roth IRA. So that will just have $100. This really doesn't keep a lot because usually when it gets a couple hundred or something like that, I actually deposit it and then I actually transfer it into the Roth IRA. So easy peasy and I just do it on my phone. All right, so we have equipment. So equipment we have, we're actually going to do $75. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do 320, 40, 60, 110, and then we're going to do, why am I, okay. Am I missing? Oh, five. So we're going to do five ones. All right. So we're going to do 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. I just want to make sure that I had the correct. So now I wish that with my shipping label printer, I wish that I would have did a little bit more research on it because I see some cool ones. But at the time, I was just like busy and I needed like a good printer. So I just went on Amazon and just did it. So later on, I don't know, I might end up trying to get something like a Rolo or a, I did like the Zebra one, but I don't know. I have to see um, if I'm going to get another one and then I'll just sell that one on the marketplace or whatever. And then um, switch because the other one you can do like barcodes, you can do like stickers and everything like that. This one is just a basically a four by six print label so i was like oh man yeah 
Hurt me to my heart. Hurt me to my heart. Okay. All right. So we got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. All right. So we got 65, 165. Let's put that one in the, in the front. So right now, I, it's not like something like a dying need that I actually need. So I'm not really pretty much worried about that. So I'm trying to be more cost effective. So that's why I'm like, okay, I'll just use this one until like I really figure it out. And I think think that is pretty much all of it for our cash envelope stuff in for this one here and that's all we're doing for this binder and then i do have some two so we have two four six eight ten these things are crisp than a mug super crisp all right so i am actually going to put oop, hopefully i don't drop this i am actually going to put this in here for my two dollar and this is just my two dollar draw that i put two dollar bills in so y'all we are pretty much done we are done 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 that was like sweet short quick to the point right all right so if you have not already joined my instagram please make sure to hop over to my instagram it's called a pink cloth life and then also my tiktok is called a pink cloth life so just make sure that you do follow me on my page and then also on my tiktok and then also make sure to subscribe and then put up notifications so that way when i do release certain things that you will get the you know what i'm saying the notification that it will be coming for a certain day at a certain time and um, i do have on my website sms text alerts where you can sign up for that too also so i do have another release coming and i do have a lot of books that i will be placing on there and i just put them on there and i can't um i used to like put them to the side for but it gets a little bit confusing so i just um put them on there and you just have to grab them when you can so i'll try to make as many as i can so everybody can pretty much get a chance all right so thank you guys so much for tuning in and listen to this video and then also listen to little aiden in the background um because he is doing his little video on the side too y'all know i got competition with him but <laughs> But anyways, but if you did like this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up because you know I do appreciate it. And then please like, 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 share, share, share. Let me know in the comments how your budget is going and if you're doing side hustles or you know what? Give me a heart. Give me a heart in the comments. Let's, let's do that. Give me a heart. Let me know how your budgeting is going. Let me know how your month is going. Just give me anything, anything. All right. And then like I always say, guys, until next time, peace.